Hello my petal patrons, it is Tuesday, it is Mars Day, it is the 28th of November already, 2023, so we have cycles ending and beginning today, it could be very, very crunchy for people, um, so I have a little extra support here from my helper, <laughs> say hello Dashiell Robert Parr, <laughs> say hello to all of my friends, anyway, I'm going to pull the map up here. Um, and as we are closing out cycles right on the tail end of this full moon energy, you do have another day today to use this time, energy, and effort if you would like in order to help move and shift energy out of your system to allow the new things to come in. So let's pull up the map and I'll sort of show you what's going on. Okay. Okay, my friends, if you're feeling a little bit weird, here's the reason why. Technically today, we only have five total transits, and one of them we are in right now, which is going to be with us until about mm, five o'clock to eight o'clock on the other coast. Obviously, the other one uh, passed through early this morning, and that's where we had this trine energy that was going on with Venus in Libra with its sister air sign, right, with the moon still here in Gem, all right? So that did create a trine early this morning, but where we're at now is a square that's developing with that moon in Gemini right here. That's that big red line, that big square with Neptune. We are in that energy for a long, long time today. We're in it for at least the next four to five hours. And at this zero one energy, 10 energy, the endings allowing you to come up with the zero one, the new beginning energy, there's a lot of considerations here. Now, these squares in some people's uh, broadcasts might be a little bit minor, and I don't normally bring up all of the dramatics, but I want to be able to help explain what's going on here because Libra having a minor square with what's going on with the uh, rising energy with Pluto right now um, is affecting a lot of people when it comes to finances. Unfortunately, it is. It's shaking some things up. Um, it's making people feel a little bit scattered. And we do have Black Moon Lilith in here, which is directly having um, a huge square with what's going on with Mars. So that is pushing a lot of people's buttons, unfortunately, today. And then, of course, we still have that same square energy that we've been talking about for a while with Mars in... Um, Saturn in Pisces. So it has a lot to do with where you're feeling restricted and where you're trying to get over the hump. That's the energy of sort of where we're at today. Now we are going to have a moon change and that's going to be a little bit later on this evening. And so we're going to move from the energy of all this crazy heart and head energy, this duality, beautiful energy that we have with Geminis. I love Gemini energy because they are able to pick up on stuff very, very quickly, which is why they get a bad rap sometimes. They're always here and then there. It's because they're going towards where they they feel comfortable so that is shaking some things up but the moon is going to move out of Gemini and into loving energy of cancer but that won't be until like about 11 54 tonight so at about 5 o'clock p.m. to about 8 o'clock we are also going to have another opposition that shows up here with the same circumstances that we've been talking about for a few days which is chatty catty mercury the ruler of Gemini and our Virgos okay um, having an opposition uh, directly with that moon in Gemini. So I'm looking at my Virgos, I'm looking at my Aquariuses, <laughs> um, I'm looking at my Scorpios, and I'm looking at my Pisces today very, very specifically because there's a whole lot of T-square and opposition motion that involves all of you with the shifting of energy before we switch into that really beautiful energy of what happens when the moon is in Cancer. Um, the energy of what goes on with Neptune, where we've had some of this crazy energy, please remember that it's in retrograde only for another little bit of time here. When Neptune goes direct, it will have the opportunity to open up people's thought processes. But the beauty of what Gemini has been doing for us, it's been opening up and trying for us to, again, settle in with those things that are going on between our high energy thought processes and where we need to have the rubber beat the road. So again, unfortunately for some people, that creates a little bit of unstickiness and uncomfortableness where it comes to second house and also seventh house and also tenth house um, so finances other people's um uh, finances, uh, your marriage, your partner, your business partner, if you're not married, things of that nature. And again, the argument we're having with Black Moon Lilith about the practical way we need to go about using this energy in order to move forward. So here's what I want to say as far as what that looks like today. The mantra of the day, okay? <clears throat> My personal happiness is based on my ability to maintain 
love and loving energy. And when we get into this energy tomorrow of the moon hitting in Cancer, it will calm down a few different things. Uh, so the moon in Cancer energy is very loving when it comes to some things that puts things into more gentle motion as far as making moves and making changes. If that is one of the things it is that we need to be able to do. So just know that today's energy, we're ending some things and we're beginning some things. And tomorrow you get to put a few more things in motion, at least in a little bit more loving, caring manner. I hope this message has found you well and I will talk to you soon. Bye!